Hi, I'm Melody. I'm a photographer, filmmaker and a passionate outdoors person. And I started solo hiking two years ago. And whenever I'm getting asked about it, people are wondering why I do it solo. And if it's not lonely or if I'm not scared about it. And I am sometimes. And still, I do think hiking solo is one of the purest forms of freedom and self-care that's probably out there and today i want to talk about why i think hiking solo should be on your bucket list i think the main takeaways in this video should be that hiking solo should be on your list because it gives you the opportunity to grow as a human being because you spend a lot of time with yourself with with your thoughts and we rarely get to have that these days. We are always surrounded by screens, by people, by social media, by podcasts. We always have, you know, information coming in. But at some point, the cup is full and we need to empty it until we can get inf new information in. And I think hiking solo gives you the opportunity to slow down, to empty your cup and also to learn about yourself as a human being, your needs, your wants, the future, the present, and maybe even processing things of the past. Um, you know, you have always these cliches of women hiking solo because they went through breakups, um, quitting their jobs, or I mean, not even women, all genders. Um, and I think that's very legit. The thought and the stereotype are very legit because it does give you time to reconnect with yourself, with nature and everything you want in life. Because that's the beauty of the simplicity. You only have your tent, your backpack, everything you own that you need is in your, on your back. And this simplicity gives you so much freedom that even the thought about it might be scary. And I think actually that's the best part about it. We need to learn how to take care of ourselves again. And we need to learn how to be with ourselves again without any information coming in. And also learn how to process all of that information we usually get throughout the day. And also learn how to be independent again. And I think independence is just a nice thing and a nice skill and personality trait to have in a in a fast-paced world, in a social world and in a crowded world and just being able to spend time with yourself and with your thoughts. So yeah, I think hiking solo is a form of self-care, self-love even and a way to be more independent, to learn how to be with yourself, with your thoughts, with your mind with your emotions and how to reconnect with yourself. If you ever thought about the idea of going hiking all by yourself, you may have come over feelings of anxiety, doubt, and maybe you're just scared of being alone or lonely. And you know, that's totally fair because it can be very scary. And I think it's because usually we are so used to having help immediately available, like we can just call what we want to, we can Google stuff, we can ask our friends. But when it comes to hiking solo, we are, you know, it's, it's all on you and you have to rely on yourself and your knowledge and your preparation that you've done beforehand. And I think that can be very scary for a lot of people because it, it, it is out of your comfort zone. Usually you don't have, you know, uh, four walls around you with a heater and a warm bed and internet and electricity. So having these thoughts and feelings beforehand are very legit because, you know, when I started hiking, I always was thinking, what if I get lost? What if I fall down and get injured and I don't have any phone signal and, you know, there's no one around to help me? <laughs> and what if I hit bad weather? You know, all these things can happen. And especially when you're hiking solo, of course, there's a higher risk of, let's say there's a higher risk of not being helped so quickly. But in the end, of course, it's still the same risk um, being outside and, you know, maybe falling down. Of course, mm, 
there won't be someone there probably that can help you immediately. So that's a downside. But if you prepare properly, if you start slow, then you don't have to worry about these things, at least not to that extent. And I think that the anxiety and the doubts about it can be, you know, reduced by building up your hiking confidence and your camping confidence and starting slow because no one says you have to, you know, hike seven days in the mountains all by yourself immediately. You can do that. But, you know, if you've never done hiking before, maybe start a bit slower and do like a three-day hike close to your home. So you're always close to help and people that know you, you know. You know, sometimes I really want to do stuff, but I do rather do it with friends, which is fair, obviously, because, you know, sharing experiences with our friends is one of the best ways to bond with each other. But I think sometimes I, and I think a lot of other people, are making themselves in that moment dependent on other people instead of just doing these type of things by themselves. Of course, sometimes it's a bit, you know, dangerous. You should probably not do solo climbing. I mean, there are people who do, but don't do it. Oh, there's a dog. And you know, sometimes you don't find the people who want to do the same thing as you. And I think it's very sad that you, that I sometimes just don't do stuff because I don't have the right people to do it with. So a reason why I did it, because I didn't want to wait for someone who can go hiking with me for 10 days in the mountains with only a tent, not going into a hut, not having warm food every day, you know. You will not always find people who share the same, you know, idea as you or who are, who compromise with stuff like okay for example I like videography and or cinematography and photography so I like to take my time and take a lot of pictures and videos and not everyone likes to do that because some people want to walk faster and be there faster but I want to take my time I'm gonna walk as slow as possible and enjoy myself and enjoy the views and take my videos and photos in my time and this gives me a lot of freedom um, because I can do it by myself and I don't have to wait for someone or someone has to wait for me. And I don't know, I think it's a, a lot about independence and doing whatever you want. We just spend so much time with social media, with friends, with family, and that's beautiful. But I think you don't get a lot of time with yourself. And to be honest, not everyone likes that. For a lot of people, being alone with their own thoughts, with only themselves, not having people to talk with, that can be very scary. And I think that's absolutely fair. But what I also think is that we just have to get used to it again. This may sound a bit over the top, but if everything goes wrong, we need to be there for ourselves. We need to be our best friends and we need to be the ones who give ourselves the safety we need and I think hiking solo gives you the opportunity to learn all of that because you don't have the presence of your friend there that gives you safety you have to give safety to yourself you know and you need to learn how to take care of yourself in all ways you know and I think walking alone is just the purest way of doing that because the only thing you have to do is walk and find a camp and drink water and eat <laughs> that's all you need to do and i think that of course we are very stimulated these days so it can for a lot of people the thought seems very boring but i think boredom is a gate to creativity and being able to be balanced again so maybe go on a solo hike solo day hike even maybe even several days, because I think it needs more time than just a day or two. And I think we need to give ourselves the respect and our bodies the respect to, to slow down, empty our cups and be available again for everything our world offers. You know, of course, you can spend time with yourself at home in your own four walls or go on a walk and... Um, spend time alone in that way but i think we need to have distance 
from our daily lives and wherever we spend time, our four walls and, and work and all of that, in order to really slow down and, you know, get away from everything, to really empty our minds, our empty our cups. And that's why I think that hiking is so nice, because you go away from... Um, you, you really are away from everything and from everyone. And of course, it doesn't need to be, you know, in the mountains. It can also be in, in, a, big, in, a, in a forest or anything. But, you know, just being away from your hometown or from your, you know, comfort zone, it really gives you the distance you need to find back to yourself and to calm down and really figure out what you want, what you need, because sometimes we we think we want stuff, we think we need stuff, but do we really need it? Or is it something or someone in our lives um, that made us want or need that? And I think being alone with yourself in the purest form really makes you realize what you want in life and what you don't. And that's why a lot of people do go on solo hikes when they go through breakups or when they just quit their jobs or when they finish their studies because it's like an ending and a start at the same time you know it's like a segment in between and it's a time to start with something new or to end a chapter and yeah, it gives you it gives you the opportunity to to have this bridge between the two chapters. So I think that's why hiking maybe further away might be a better choice to instead of going, you know, on a day hike just close by. But of course, um this is something we might have to talk another time, anxiety in hiking solo, because that's also a big one, also for myself sometimes, especially camping. But this video is more about why hiking solo in general should be on someone's list. So, yeah, hiking alone uh, gives you, you know, independence. It gives you freedom. It's only on you and you have to take care of yourselves. You have to be, you have to give yourself safety in order to keep going. You have to be prepared. You really need to do everything. And of course, this sounds, this may sound intimidating, but... I like to think of it as, you know, like a big package of opportunities to grow, to learn and to just enjoy life in its purest form. And it's so simple, it's cheap, more or less. I mean, cheaper than, you know, going on an all-inclusive trip. <laughs> and yeah, no one rushes you. It's, you know, you don't have to make compromises with someone else. You can just do whatever you want, whenever you want. and. I think that's a big plus. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope hiking solo is on your hiking list or at least to consider it. And yeah, I really enjoyed making this video and I hope to see you sometime again. Feel free to subscribe, but you can also just go outside and, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy time off screen. Probably that would make me even happier. And maybe plan your next solo hiking trip. Bye.